You're listening to the Option Alpha Podcast from OptionAlpha.com, where we show you how to make smarter trades, learn how the stock market really works, and generate consistent monthly income. Monthly income. Now, your host and head trader at OptionAlpha.com, Kirk Duplessis. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com, working every single week to make this the most popular investing podcast offered in iTunes and online because it's based on one thing and one thing only, and that's helping you make smarter trades. So thanks so much for tuning in today. Today is launch day for our huge report signals, the 20-year technical analysis backtesting report, the report that's going to tell you exactly what the top indicators and what their specific settings are that beat everything else. And I'll get into some of the particulars of some of the details and uh, some of the overview uh, results from the report here in a second. But I just wanna let you know that this report obviously goes on sale today and only for the next five days. So that's only until Friday, the 22nd of January at midnight Eastern time. And that is midnight Eastern time, my time, because I don't wanna be staying up any later than midnight. I'm going to be changing everything over on midnight Eastern time. That means wherever you are in the world, because I know we have people listening from all over the world, make sure that you purchase a copy before midnight on Friday 22nd, because I swear to you, it will never, ever be as low as it is right now. In fact, my wife and I had a huge argument about the fact that she thought I would never offer it this low to begin with, but I'm only doing it for five days and that is it. It's never gonna be in an upsell. It's never gonna be as part of a download. This is it. This is the five days that you get to buy the copy of Signals, get everything that's included with that for absolutely the lowest price it will ever be. In fact, we're actually selling enterprise licenses to financial companies and other media outlets right, right now for multiple, uh, uh, multiple uh, thousands of dollars. For each of those licenses so to be able to buy an individual license just for yourself uh, for the price that we're offering it right now is insane so here's the deal and i'm not going to you know give you guys a lot of you know fluff today i'm going to give it to you straight right here right now about all the facts that you need to know about this report so first let's talk about how long it took i've said multiple times you guys probably heard me in other podcasts and on blog posts and maybe even in social media this week it took over 12 months to do and when I say over 12 months, it wasn't that we just started in January of last year and then we decided to end in December of this year. No, I'm talking about nonstop, 40 hours a week. We hired a team of four different people to actually do the testing nonstop. Then we hired other people to double check the testing and then other people to double check those who got double checked. I mean, it was nonstop work for 12 months. It was just a huge undertaking on our part. But again, now I know why people never did it because nothing like this is out there in the entire marketplace. How much money do we spend? If I told you the exact number, you'd probably poop your pants in most cases, right? But it was close to six figures that we spent in labor, uh, technology that we had to build out, software that we had to build out, data that we had to buy, uh, developers that we had to hire to code stuff. Uh, it was a huge investment on our part. And look, that's what I've said from the beginning. You know, the very first time I did the podcast, I said, you know, one of my goals with Option Alpha is to continuously reinvest the vast majority of money that I make off of the membership back into the membership to develop programs and products like these. So believe me, I would love to sell a lot of these because we need to recoup that investment. And I know it's going to happen, uh, whether it happens today or next week or in a couple weeks from now, and, you know, is yet to be seen. But I do think that this is going to be a game changing report that will absolutely alter how people trade and use technical analysis in the future. So what does the report cover? Well, obviously the report is 20 years of data. And what we did is we tracked over that 20 years, 17 different indicators. So we lay out which indicators that we chose inside the report. But again, we have your major indicators like your simple moving average, we have your MACDs, your stochastics, your RSIs. And then we also added other ones like volume indicators. And we added uh, Aaron indicators and the ultimate oscillator. And we added all these other different indicators that give us a good mix and blend of, of different uh, technicals to trade. We also tracked 223 individual stocks. So what we did is we went back in time from 1995, which is when this report started back testing. And we said, okay, we want to include all of the stocks or all the relevant stocks that we can with you know significant volume, significant liquidity, you know, not penny stocks. We want to include some of the bigger names. 
And so what we did is we blended together a list of 223 individual stocks, which of course you'll get as part of the report. You'd see which stocks we tracked. But it was a good mix of S&P 500, S&P 100, and NASDAQ 100 stocks because we didn't want to discount the fact that we went through a huge tech boom, right? And we want to see, you know, if, if that dot-com bubble in 2000, if you could have made a lot of money with one indicator, then maybe it would have gotten you out at some point. So we didn't want to discount that technology side. Even though we benchmarked everything against the SPY, we did include a ton of different uh, technology and NASDAQ-focused stocks. The other thing that we did is we tested 1,476 individual variations. Now, that number is a huge number, and this is where the vast majority of our research went into focus is testing these different variations. And what we did first is we split up every single indicator test into long-only and short-only tests. And while it might not seem like that's a really big thing on the outside, the reason that we did that is because as we started testing, we wanted to know, hey, you know, does the five-day moving average work best for a buy signal? And then the 50-day moving average works best for the sell signal. So we wanted to independently check each and every type of signal that's generated for a system to see if there was anything that could be, you know, discovered to find out if maybe there was an ultimate buy signal that was different than the ultimate sell signal. And so we split up all of these different variations Again, we tested 1,476 different variations in the entire time. So we went back the entire 20 years, tested everything out for each of the 223 different stocks, 1,476 different times. So you can start to imagine just how vast and how comprehensive this study was. And again, why nobody else in the entire world decided to take this on except for us. And then obviously we have 82 pages. So we boiled all of this down into 82 pages. Now a lot of these pages are gonna be some charts and graphs and you'll see samples of those when you head over to the website into the page that has the signals report on it. But it's a very compact report. 82 pages might seem a little long, for some people it might seem a little short. It's extremely compact and we wanted to keep it compact because we wanted to give you the answers, right? You don't care about necessarily, you know, every little individual test. And if you do, we have a huge appendix that gives you every single result of every study that we ever did. But we wanted to compact everything down into bite-sized chunks so that you could figure out exactly what works. And that's exactly what we did for you. Now, here are how the sections are divided. So the first part of the report is basically the top category winners. So what we did is we went in and we said, okay, we want to find out what the highest win rate is for each of the different indicators. We want to find out what the lowest drawdown is, the highest sharp ratio, the highest calmer ratio, the biggest profit margin. We want to find out all that stuff. And so we basically took all that data and we sorted it out and said, okay, these are the, the highest winning percentage trades and these are the highest winning percentage indicators and specific settings. And again, you can see a sample of this right on over at optionalpha.com slash signals is where you can actually see the copy of the report and get a sample. Now section two or the next major part of the report is basically our optimal settings matrix. This is a little bit of a bonus that we're throwing in here the first week. And what we did is we basically compiled everything into these top 10 overall performance matrices. And they basically list the exact settings with the relevant return and performance metrics for every indicator in top 10 order. So we have the top 10 overall, we have top 10 short term trades, so all trades under 30 days, we have the top 10 medium term trades, so any trades 30 to 200 days, we have the top worst performing indicators, that way you know exactly what to avoid, and all of that are in very easy to read and easy to understand quick little handouts. These are your go-to, your quick reference guides on everything uh, that we have as far as different indicators. And then the other major section that we have, kind of our third major section of this report, are the real world portfolio and trade allocation simulations. Now this is where we took our top five. So we basically gathered up all this information. We assigned these top five indicators, which we go through in the report as the ultimate technical indicators and settings. And we took those top five and we basically 
ran them through 25 different real world constraints, right? Because it's not just enough to say, okay, well, this indicator works. Well, how does it work? You know, if you only have $10,000 and you're allocating 1% per trade versus 2%, you know, how is your portfolio and your returns going to change based on different starting balances, different trade allocations? So we want to test that. We want to kind of, you know, put it through the real world scenario. And so we laid all of that out in these 25 different real world constraints. And what's really cool about this is that you can see all the different charts. And again, another sample is available over at optionalpha.com signals. But then we also put together a really cool heat map at the end of that section that basically lays out the most profitable combination. So what is the most profitable allocation target? You know, how does that really work? You know, what should you be doing with your trade size so that you can optimize your portfolio long term? Now, of course, if you've never traded options before or even stocks before, you might not know what each of these indicators are. And although we have some of the more popular ones, we did include some of the ones that maybe are less popular, maybe more popular with uh, traditional traders that are out there, but less popular with the overall public. And so if you don't know what some of these are, we have a very nice, very thought out appendix that basically goes step by step through each of the different indicators. It tells you what it is, gives you a nice chart with graphs and arrows that shows you exactly when buy signals are generated, when sell signals are generated, and then from there basically lays out each and every test that we ran for that indicator and all of the performance metrics for all of those indicators. So for example, if we ran, let's say 20 different tests in stochastics, it lays out exactly what the number of trades were for each test, the average profit and loss, the number of days held, the number of winning trades, the win rate, the number of losing trades, the maximum drawdown, when that maximum drawdown occurred, like when did you lose the most money on that particular strategy? So all of that is inside of this very detailed appendix and you can dig through it for days. But again, we've already kind of summarized everything in the main report for you, but this is like extra. This is bonus stuff that you get that we wanted to include because we wanted just to show you how much is out there and you can start digging through it and finding, you know, whatever you want that kind of fits your trading style. So now that you kind of see, you know, everything that goes into it, again, the special launch price of $97, which is insane. The fact that I'm even just saying it's $97 just for this week, I swear will never, ever, ever be this low again. Like I've already told you, we've already had some agreements with some companies and financial publications to start licensing some of this software for a multi-thousand dollar, you know, figure. So the fact that you're going to get this for $97, but only if you get it this week is insane. And then the price will obviously go up from there exponentially. So I also want to let you know that once you purchase a copy of Signals, you're going to get an offer to actually add the automated Signals blueprint. And I want to talk a little bit about what that is. See, what I did is I created a brand new training course inside of the membership area, and it's only for people who first purchase the signals report, because without that, this entire blueprint is worthless. If you don't know what the best signals are and how to optimize these technical analysis indicators, then laying them out in this blueprint is practically worthless. But I built this entire new training course that goes step by step into how to add each technical indicator to your favorite broker platform. So right now we have Thinkorswim, we've got TradeStation, we've got Trade uh, Interactive Brokers, we're adding Trade Monster very soon and some other ones. So as soon as we keep adding these broker platform videos, they'll be added to the membership area and the course. But we're also going to show you how to save these scans so you can quickly view them in less than seven minutes. So we're going to go step by step. It has handouts that walk you through step by step everywhere that you click to create these custom scans based on these indicators that we've now found to be the most optimal. And now you can save them and even add them to your watch list. So basically looking for stock trades again is, you know, going to become a time saving thing that you can now do in seven minutes every single day. Plus, we're also going to go through an insanely simple process for setting up automated email alerts. And this is really cool because this is something that a lot of people have asked about. And we've written the custom code and you'll have access to those custom scripts and broker scripts uh, that are inside the platforms. And all you have to do is copy and paste them in. And now you're 100% on board with a completely automated system. And it's going to send you either emails or text alerts whenever stock signals uh, and indicators get hit. So if you have, 
you know, these alerts set up on Apple, it's going to tell you every time that Apple has a buy signal. And I mean, imagine how great that's going to be that you don't have to go in there and start looking for potential buy signals or sell signals. It's just going to send it to you automatically. But again, that's going to be inside of our automated signals blueprint. And then the last thing I want to tell you is that anybody who signs up by tomorrow night, that's Tuesday the 19th at midnight, is going to also join us on this bonus 45-minute mastery class webinar. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my entire plan on how I plan on integrating technical analysis into my current options trading uh, in the future. And this is a big question that I've already gotten from a lot of people who were kind of part of this beta soft launch and, and read through the report and gave us feedback is they asked, you know, how do you plan on integrating this technical analysis into options trading? So what we're going to do, like I said, is only for those people who grab the automated signals blueprint and do so by tomorrow night, which is Tuesday at midnight, the 19th, you're going to be added to a 45 minute mastery webinar class that I'm going to do. That's going to walk through exactly what I plan on doing. And it's going to be a great opportunity for you to do a little bit of Q&A with me. I'll have plenty of time to do Q&A. We'll answer all the questions you have about the report and generating signals and trading options, anything and everything is going to be open, but it's only, again, for people who are going to take action right now in the first two days and grab both of these things right now. It's kind of like a total bundle. Now, before we wrap up, I want to share with you four really cool, notable metrics that we learned in our entire backtesting research. And some of these you might have seen maybe on Twitter or Facebook. We've shared these sparingly, but I want to kind of recap these because I think they're really important to maybe your decision to buy this thing or not, or even to use technical analysis in the future or not as part of your trading plan. So the first one is that only 5% of all of the different indicator variations that we tested actually beat the market. And what that means is that 95% of technical analysis underperforms. So the question I always ask now is, are you making, are you trading basically with those indicators that don't work well, that are proven over 20 years and 17 million trades to not work, right? Do you know what the 5% is? And if you don't, you've got to get a copy of this report. The other indicator or the other figure that I want to share with you guys is that the average win rate for all of our indicators combined, long and short, was just above 45%. And so this is actually pretty, pretty amazing because as a group, it means that actually flipping a coin sometimes is more consistent uh, as far as generating buy or sell signals for a stock. And this really gets to the heart of what I talk about here a lot at Option Alpha is that the market is more or less random. There's maybe patterns that can develop and we definitely you know, found some signals that really generated some significant returns. But there are definitely some patterns that start to develop and uh, the market is more or less random and most technical analysis when thrown in as a group is less reliable than flipping a coin. It's finding out those trim tabs or those few key indicators that kind of beat the averages. The fourth figure is that almost 27% of the variations that we tested, so about 208 different variations, actually blew up the model portfolio completely. And that means that created losses of more than 100% after commissions. And you're probably asking, well, how do you create more than 100% losses? Well, if you trade stock short and you go short stock and the stock goes up by more than 100%, you can have you know, a bigger than 100% loss. So it was really interesting that almost 27% of the indicator variations that we tested blew up the model portfolio. And I'm here to tell you, some of the most popular and most recognizable, most talked about in the media indicators are some of the ones that performed the worst in our backtesting research. Now, the last figure that I'm gonna leave you with, I think is the most powerful one that we reveal inside of this report. And that is that the top five indicators that we selected to be the most optimal settings and buy and sell signal generators beat the S&P on average 2,602% over the 20 year period. Now that's just not beating the market by five or 10%. It's not inching out the market or marginally beating it. It's basically killing the market return and doing so in a very systematic and methodical way a very mechanical and event-driven system that has no emotion in it. And I think that is the most powerful takeaway that we want to give to you as part of this 
huge release of signals. So I hope you guys check out a copy. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Shoot me an email. I'll be available all week to answer any and all of your questions. And I really look forward to hearing what you guys think about this. It's been a long time coming and I'm very, very excited to get it into the hands of hopefully thousands of traders out there like you. Thanks for listening to the Option Alpha podcast. If you liked what you heard, please drop by iTunes and leave a rating or comment. Plus, you can get everything. Free email updates for future shows, transcripts, video tutorials, case studies, and more. Just visit our website at optionalpha.com.